we found no difference. <coughs> we didn't fact find that it affects. Okay, who uses eggs? Carrie, you do, right? Who, who else uses the, the, the powdered eggs or has some experience with it? What do you think? They're delicious, aren't they? Anything you want to ask? I was just going to say, it saves my family eats a lot of scrambled eggs and eggs for breakfast. And so to open up the powdered eggs and use a can every couple of years to help rotate that through my food storage, it's wonderful. I don't have to... The, the best thing about it is when you're baking with it, if a recipe calls for, if you're hacking a recipe that called originally for one egg. Oh, and you can put a half egg, you can put a half powder. an egg in it. Yeah. Um, and you know what, when you're using them in restaurant recipes, you can use them two ways. You can either mix it up like you saw me do, just with the water and the eggs, or you can just put the egg powder with the dry, and you can put the water with the wet in your recipes. And you don't even have to mix it up. And it's a slam dunk. They, you still get a very good end product. They still raise nicely. Now, the only exception we took to that is, does anybody here make German pancakes or an egg souffle or anything like that? When the main ingredient was eggs, we did not feel like we got the same end product as a fresh egg. We just didn't. With so, either one with the crystals or the powder? Well, oh, yeah. only the powder because we didn't have the crystals that long ago. Okay. So I didn't try the I didn't try the egg crystals, but on the egg powder I really would only use it in yeah banana bread muffins. We made up commercial like uh, pancakes were fine. Pancakes were absolutely fine. Um, we even put like you know when you buy the mixes from the store, we did the brownies and we added the egg. And you know what? There was absolutely no difference. You just cannot tell. So I really would store any egg powder you're comfortable with. Um, and then if you want eggs, for real, like these, I mean, I do the egg, I, I do the egg crystals. Can, I do have one bit of advice on the powdered eggs. If you're using them in, like, um, your white bread that would call for eggs, yeah, put that, put the egg powder in there, but do not add additional water to it. So okay. It doesn't come out as well. Okay, interesting. Because doesn't your white bread have water in it? No, I mean the extra you know, water for the eggs. Yeah. Just don't put that extra powder. little bit of water just for okay. the powder. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, you're, you're still looking for eggs. And add it. Over to you. Keep your plates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, keep it. Yeah, keep it. We'll get to these. We'll do these oh, at the very oh, end. We'll do those at the very end. So how many eggs are in here? You know what? On those powdered eggs, there were 226. On these, 143. The crystals, 143 in a can. They're concentrated because on the crystals, you only use two teaspoons for an egg. Where well, you think you'd get more, of course, they're so they're so much bigger. It's in bulk. It's where you make it up. Okay. Everybody get eggs? Yeah, is there anybody that didn't get it? I don't need eggs. I have a question. Okay, question. Trees, are you going to be talking about uh, canned butter? The no. butter powder. The butter powder. No, we're not. They, um, one reason it's on the order form is because anybody who wants to use this mix a meal, it's a really great way to rotate your milk and your butter and your and your eggs. Um, I've only tried a couple in here, and she only gave me permission to put one recipe as a freebie on the handout. And she says, do the pancakes because they're awesome. The other one that she says is wonderful is the hot roll mix. But this is full of mixes that you just leave dry in your pantry, and then when you need it, you just add water. Or sometimes there's a few little extra ingredients, but she has salad dressing in here, barbecue mix, and uh, barbecue sauce, and ketchup. I mean, she has all these mixes. I mean, you literally would not have to go and buy all those condiments and convenience things at the store. You'd also need a tomato powder, like for a base. But a lot of these use um, powdered milk and powdered eggs and powdered butter. Uh -huh. Yep. You seal it and you're done. So like the hot roll mix, 
when you get it out, you just scoop out, you know, however much you're going to make. And she has in here also, that's kind of neat, is you can try the mix. So it'll have like the regular, and I did this on your egg order form, and then she'll have a little mini mix. So you don't have to add, you don't have to make up this great big batch that serves an army to say, oh, I don't like it. You know, you could just try the little mini one, and if you like it, then make up a big one. I thought that was a really great selling point for her to do in her book. Anyways, you can try. She's got all kinds of desserts. You can look at this. It's on the order form. I just think if you're going to store eggs and milk and butter, because we all want it when we want it, you've got to have a way to, to rotate it. You've just got to. So that's why I liked this book, is I was finally a way that we could use it. And it was actually good food. It was actually good food. Okay, we're going to move on to milk. Do we kind of feel like we covered eggs? Okay, you liked them. Thumbs up on the eggs? Those were good, weren't they? Okay, I was also, I had Sherry bring her, bring her pan. I thought, we'll make these up just so you can see. I tell you, I finally in the end, I just said, they'll have to take my word for it because it was awful. Absolutely, we just couldn't do it. We just couldn't even do it. Okay, so let's move to milk. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk about milk is there's, Two main types of milk that dominate our powdered milk industry. There's regular and there's instant. Everybody know the difference between those two? Um, the cannery sells regular milk. It's good, and the reason they sell it is because it stores a lot longer. When you have them side by side, the instant milk mixes up very easy and very beautifully. The regular milk Literally, we needed it was much better in a blender. So my personal preference for the way it mixes up and for the way it tastes, my preference is always and will always be to go with a good instant powdered milk. They are delicious. Now, Sherry in her email said, this is not your mother's powdered milk. This is so truly not your mother's powdered milk. Do we all have those visions of when we tried to drink powdered milk and we thought it was awful? Milk technology has come a long way, and powdered milk is very good. And there's a lot of things that you can do with the powdered milk. So the first thing I wanted to go over, I wanted to do, I think they're bringing them in. Um, they're selling the Humboldt mix. I mean, and so most everything, I forgot my yogurt, it's in the fridge. Um, Your home and here. In, in my house. <laughs> um, most everything that we made, we used all the Humboldt milk. So you could taste everything using that milk. I think there are a lot of good kinds out on the... Um, here's the cute. Um, I think we're okay. Thank you. Thank you for that offer. Um, so everything that you're going to taste tonight, when we made it into all different kinds of milk products, we use the Humboldt milk, thanks to Sherry. <laughs> thanks to my work. That's the regular one. No, that's instant. The Humboldt is instant powdered milk. Correct, Sherry? Yes. What? It's instant, instant powdered milk. Seriously, there are experts in this room that I would try to So what's the difference as far as they would know? <laughs> it has to be with it's some the way it's, it's processed. It's more processed. Mm -hmm. If you look at them, the ingredients are typically just Milk. Now, there are powdered milks out there. Here's two things to watch for. There are powdered milks out there that have a lot more ingredients than just milk. I would never buy a, a milk, powdered milk, if there was anything in it other than just pasteurized, dehydrated milk. Some of them will add a lot of other things. The other thing you need to watch for is the weight of the can. So often, you'll see some that say, oh, this is three and a half pounds, and it might be $12.99, and the can right next to it is only $8.99, but now it's only got two pounds in it. They do that a lot, so their number 10 can that looks equal in size will sell for less. So look, if you really want to compare, look ounce for ounce. But the Humboldt milk is very good. Do they have cream in their milk? Because I know that makes it taste better. Um, not if you get most instant milk is non-fat milk. And if they add cream, then it's not fat. So um, I rarely, in fact, on the market, like in the grocery stores and stuff, and food storage, I've really never seen a low-fat powdered milk. Although I know it exists and they have it, it just is not, it's not very common and it's not very popular. 
Um, and the non-fats store a lot better and a lot longer.